Good evening, children. It's Granny Macduff, ready with a story. So make yourselves comfy, and I'll begin. Once upon a time, the birds of the forest were all sitting upon the big, beautiful branches of the trees, which all had quite a few leaves on them. But still the birds wanted more leaves. The leaves of a journal. A new journal, a good journal. They longed for it. A newspaper, as the humans had, but even just half would have sufficed. The songbirds wanted a music critic for praise of themselves and also for criticism of others. But the birds could not agree on an impartial critic. The owl said, It must be a bird. The owl had been elected president of the birds for he is, after all, the bird of wisdom. We should not include any other animal of the forest, except uh, perhaps from the sea. Fish could suffice, for some do fly like us birds. That is the only thing we have in common, I suppose. We, we, we could choose from any animal. There are many between fish and birds. The stork flapped his wings and began. There do exist animals between fish and birds, such as the children from the marsh, the frogs. I shall vote for them. They are musical, and their choir is like church bells in a meadow. The heron agreed. I shall also vote for the frogs. They are not bird, nor are they fish. But they live like fish and sing like birds. The musical part is settled then. The frogs it is. But the paper must include and speak of all the beauties of our forest. I believe we should consider co-workers. Let us consider each of our family members. Suddenly, the lark sang out. It should not be the frog who's the editor of our paper, but the nightingale. Yes, yes, I say it should be the nightingale. Hush, lark. Chirp no more, hooted the owl. I am familiar with the nightingale. We are both nocturnal. And I know that neither he nor I should be elected. It would not suit the paper. Our paper should be for everyone. Next came the vote for the name of the paper. And they all agreed that it should be called Morning Croak. Or Evening Croak. Or perhaps just Croak. So they voted. And Croak it was. The bee, the ant and the gopher all agreed to write about industrial and engineering activities. The cuckoo was nature's poet, even though the peacock remarked how vain the cuckoo was, but yet not very pretty. The hummingbird was traffic. He would report on the comings and goings of the forest dwellers. The flies visited the editor and said, Zzz, We offer our services. We know people. We know human ways. Zzz. Soon after... The frog said to his peers, I am sick of the stork. I used to look up to him, to idolise him. When he arrived and told tales of Egypt, my imagination ran wild. But now he's not so impressive. His greatness is just an echo in my memory now. I am older and wiser. I am more rational. I have written articles in croak. I am what is called a croaker. And in the human world, they have those too. I've even written on it. And I shall write and croak and tell my own stories and have my own adventures. And the frog did just that. And throughout the land, animals big and small wanted to read croak. And it brought them all together. The end. It's time to take a deep breath, close our eyes, so that we may drift off into a world of our own adventure. Good night, children. <laughs> <laughs>